Hey, it's David. Welcome or welcome back to Cross Fitness, helping men and women get in the best spiritual shape of their lives, one workout at a time. Quick thought in this video that I'm calling, Let's Amaze God Today. So, there's a couple of times in the New Testament where Jesus was amazed. The Bible says it, uses the word. He was just astonished. In our common vernacular, you might say, he was like blown away. Uh, and so, what what might those things be? Well, the first occurrence was when a uh, a centurion who had a sick servant, uh, you know, sent word to Jesus asking him to heal his servant, and Jesus said, "Okay, I'll go to him." And the word was sent to him, no, 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 it's, it's not necessary for you to come to me because I'm not worthy to have you in my home. But just say the word, Jesus, and my servant will be healed because I understand authority. I'm under authority. I have authority. I say to this one, go, and he goes, this one, come, and he comes. And I know you, as the Son of God, have authority, and whatever you say will happen. And the Bible says that Jesus was amazed. He was amazed. He said, and I, I've not found this kind of faith in all Israel, letting them on the Jewish population. And here's this Gentile centurion who had authority over a hundred soldiers exhibiting and displaying faith that amazed Jesus. So there's another occurrence. Uh, the Bible says that he was amazed. And that was at the lack of faith in his own hometown. He, he couldn't even, the Bible says he could not heal many people there because of their lack of faith. And he was amazed at their lack of faith. Can you imagine God on earth, the incarnate God, not being able to do something? And yet the Bible says he could not do it. Why? Because, you know, faith is the conduit through which miracles flow. And the lack of faith you know, inhibited him and prevented him from doing what he desired and wanted to do. So how can you and I amaze God today? Well, I think one way we can do it is we can believe him. If the word says it, let's, let's believe it. Let's claim the promises of God and just stand on them. Uh, and, and, and don't let anything deter us from holding on to God's uh, faithfulness through his word. If he said it, Let's believe it, and let's just build our house on the rock of his immutable, infallible, inspired, inerrant word through the scriptures. So that's kind of the thought I want to leave with you today. So as you're reading the Bible, if there's a promise to keep, stand on it. If it says don't do that, well, then don't do that. And uh, let's just trust God that he meant what he said and he said what he meant, and we could take it to the bank that his word is true. Well, for now, I'm David, your virtual mentor, reminding you that I'm always for you, never against you. Let's believe God together today.